This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today I'm going to guide you through the new wine cellar dungeon. Let's get to it. Before we jump into this guide, I'm going to give you a quick disclaimer. If you have not done this dungeon yet, just, just for funsies, just go in here and, and have a go at it. Uh, I highly recommend doing that before watching this guide. Like, pause the video, go play it, or bookmark the video, go play it, and come back, because I'm going to pretty much ruin the, the dungeon for you. I've lit a good chunk of the dungeon up, which just kind of ruins its whole play on light and the, the maze-like features. So if you haven't experienced the dungeon yet, then go do that because you're going to really miss out on an absolute phenomenal experience. I think this is one of the best dungeons that they've created so far. And the whole way that they play with light and use the map to kind of make you disoriented and lost and the whole exploring and adventuring to find the little chests and all that is absolutely phenomenal and by far one of the best dungeons they've created. Created. So go do that. Go play it. Just have a little fun with it. I mean, if you if you get lost or whatever, you die, no big deal. Just go have fun with it and then come back and watch this guy because I'm going to show you a straight path to get to it and beat it quickly and easily. Okay, so with that out of the way, we're not going for anything special. Uh, it's our usual get a good thrall, Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker, or something you know equivalent to a Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker. Spec however you want, wear whatever armor you want. This little you know Poke Thrall is going to do pretty much all of the work for you. You can do work if you want. Uh, I'll show you what I'm using for the video. So this is what we're using for the video. It's absolutely nothing special. I'm not even running any potions or anything like that to even boost myself even more. As far as what we're using for weapons, we're going to use a predatory blade. We're going to use a scorpion ward, just a spear, you know, so we can, you know, do the whole pokey pokey, break the AI mechanics, a bow, and some healing arrows. I, I, don't really recommend doing this dungeon until you get he healing arrows. You can do this dungeon before healing arrows, but I don't really recommend it. It's just going to make it so much easier. That's like the only main stipulation as far as like the build goes. Get you some healing arrows and a bow so you can heal you and your thrall. Bring a couple of torches. It'll make it slightly easier on you, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're going to run up here. This guy right here is our first guy. I'm going to take Cloak off. This is going to be the first boss that you run into. He's got really easy to uh, beat mechanics. And uh, he's kind of cool, though, because if you watch, like, here we go. He just kind of drunkenly stumbles forward. And, of course, you've got that time in which to uh, attack him and uh, beat him down. And then, of course, you can just hang back and let your thrall do all the work. Oh, by the way, put your thrall in as much armor as you can get them in. Highest armor you can find and a good weapon. I'm using the Sword of Krom. Absolutely nothing special. Run of the mill, what we usually do when we're going through a dungeon. Uh, you know, same as we always do. So we're just going to go through here and kill these people. A lot of Relic Hunter treasure seekers in here. Thrall is going to make short work of pretty much everything that we run into. And then we're going to run down the pathway here. And if you take a look, I don't know if you can see, you can see where I lit up down there. I have lights lighting the path all the way through, like the quickest and easiest path through that maze of um, darkness down there. So then we're going to run down here and we got some more Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers. That's, you know, that and Undead are what you're going to run into here. So we're just going to let the Thrall do a majority of the work. We're just going to block. He's going to go through and just murder all of them. And the I also advise not bringing a thrall with you and bringing friends instead. I feel like you're going to get a much better experience if you play with a group of, if you're solo, bring a thrall. But if you play with a group of people, leave your thralls at home and, and come play this dungeon. The, the dungeon, the boss at the end of this dungeon has somewhat raid mechanics and I think it's one of the best boss fights in the game. So there's a lore book here, bunch of uh, chests. There's chests all over. I'm not going to show all of them, but I do want to show off this. Keep an eye out for these little chests. These spawn randomly all over, and you can get the Kahari steel, which is what you need in order to craft the armor that you're going to get at the end of this thing. So keep an eye out for those. They they spawn all over the place. I'm not 100% sure. I'm still working on um, trying to figure out 
if they have specific spawn spots that they rotate through. I'm pretty sure that's the case, but marking them all is, is a bit difficult. So we got another dude here, just another normal one. Hey, hey, oh, well, we're getting stabbed in the back. I was like, where's that damage coming from? And then we have, we do have a boss right here, right, uh, right there is a boss. This one, if I can hit it. Yeah, see, single skull boss. Uh, she was, I think she was right here. I had these guys here before I realized the orbs uh, do the thing. So where this thespian is, is where she spawns at. We call it aggro from her. If we go over here, she's going to drop the usual, the, the heart of the hero and the legendary repair kits and stuff like that. So this is another place where you can come and farm those if you want. And then there should be back here... I know there's some of those little chests. Yeah, we got one here. I've seen two here before as well. Now, where they spawn at, I've seen upwards of three. So just go come back here and you can grab those. It could be one, two, or three. Um, I don't, once again, I don't know what the specific count is on those, but I do know they occasionally spawn back there. And then we're going to go um, over here. There's chests. There's just chests all over, but the chests, they really don't have, I mean, gold coins, gold. It's your normal diamond dungeon loot that you expect from all of the other dungeons like it's nothing special so then we're gonna come down here we're gonna kill these people we're gonna get speared in the face we're gonna say thrall get your butt down there and hey are you gonna attack this lady she's attacking me yeah kill her there you go there you go but uh, as we're going through it, you can see how this would be a lot of fun if you just bring a group of people down here instead of the thrall Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, I forgot to equip these, so we're just going, I don't, didn't have to do that. I could also hit five, but, you know, force a habit. So we're going to do that. We're going to heal up our thrall. We're going to stand in it and heal up ourselves a little bit. And then we are going to re-equip our stuff. Now, we're just going to run and jump here. You can make that jump relatively easily. And, and now we're going to get into the lit path. So this light here is the first of our, our lights to our, our pathing through here. The skeletons aren't anything too serious. So I think if they hit you, yeah, they put corruption on you. Um, not all of them do, but a majority of them do. Okay, so now we're going to continue on through our path here. There's another lore note here. We're going to go down this way. I'm also going to show you in this guide where all the bo bosses are. I have them marked by different lighting. And then we come through here. There's this guy right here. You can actually sneak past this guy or you can just fight him. Uh, you don't, if you got a thrall, you don't really need to sneak past any of these guys. They're not that big of a threat. I mean, the spear is slightly annoying, but uh, for the most part, they'll call others and stuff. But as you see, they're, they're easily taken down. We got some more over here that decided to spawn. Thrall's making short work of those. He hasn't even lost hardly any HP from that battle. So yeah, your thrall, when you're high enough level, and I'm capped out at 60 here, when you're high enough level, this is this dungeon is relatively easy. Um, but it's still a good experience. So our, our path goes straight through here. And we fight this guy. And he's going to summon some others. We're going to take a few hits. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey, you want to die? There you go. He's going to summon another one here. The spear skeletons are slight pain in the butt but not too bad they're not too terrible hammers the hammers are what's gonna really get you in this fight the uh the ha the bosses the big skeleton bosses with the hammers they will mess up your day all right we're gonna top off our health and remove corruption again so i also recommend bringing the um what is it the 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 drink there's what i forget what it's called the, the the remove corruption drink you know what i'm talking about anyway this is going to be our first boss you can't really bypass this boss if we, you may be able to if you have double jump but if we if we come up here so you can get in there that kind of just locks you into this area and allows you to go that way um the only way the next way to go is over over there there's a there's a bridge so you want to go over that bridge, but you can't get through any of this. It kind of kind of blocks your pathing. If you take a look, you can actually come back into here to, to this guy here. We'll go up a little bit. There's some other ones here, and you actually just lead into a dead end. So if you have double jump, you may actually be able to hit that rock and jump over that. I did not test any of that, though, because this path is honestly the path that you're more than likely going to want to go through. So you're going to come down this pathway. Now, this is where we came from. That's the first skeleton up there that we killed. I don't know why they're respawning so quick. And then we're just going to run straight down this way. And this is going to lead us to the first boss. We're going to run up here. We're going to give him a whack so that the thrall gets in on him. 
Brawl, you can get in on that. We'll give this guy a whack too. Maybe the Thrall will decide to attack. This dude hits hard. I'm gonna let him hit me so you can see. There you go, there you go. Look at that. He does not mess around. He hits like a freaking truck with that big old hammer. But as you see, the Thrall just makes short work of him and he will also drop uh, fragments of power and the Kahari Steel. You're gonna wanna get as much of that Kahari Steel as possible. So wherever you see these blue lights, that's where, where I've marked the bosses. So then we need to follow our path. So then our path leads up here. We cross this bridge here. And then we're going to walk up this way and come around here. We got one of these guys. Just gonna make short work of him. Brawl, you just wanna get whacked? He wants to get hit. He likes it when I hit him, see? See, he likes it. He loves it. And we got another skeleton coming in and I'm just gonna hit it once and then let Thrall finish it off. We're gonna come up here and continue on our way. Now the path leads up this way. We got, uh, is this the boss? No. This is just, there is a boss, one of these that you're going to want to kill. I'll show you where he's at once we get to him. There we go. Now we're going to come up here and we're going to attack these guys. Once again, they give corruption. So be careful not to get hit. Or if you do get hit, bring some uh, corruption removing goodies with you. There we go. Thrall made short work of him. And back here is the boss uh, Kappa. This guy, you want to kill this guy. He gives you the upgraded, uh, oh, he hits pretty hard too. So we'll let Thrall get in there. Thrall, Thrall, you got this? You got it? He's got it, he's got it. Just gotta give him a second. Okay, we're gonna jump in on it too. So uh, as you can see, he's got a decent amount of HP and uh, he will drop the upgraded water skin. Gives you a ton of drink. I mean, if you want it. If you, know, you don't care about it for whatever reason, then don't bother. But it's a, it's a good little uh, easy fight as you see, Thrall. Just takes the brunt of the damage and we could stay here and beat on him or and Thrall will get a couple of hits in but it's not too bad of a fight for the reward that you can get from him. So we're just going to continue to beat him. We're going to top off our healing a little bit. Let's just shoot an arrow here to make sure Thrall is going to stay nice and full on health. There we go. And we'll go back to wailing on this guy and just bust him down relatively quickly. There we go. And he did not drop the water skin. He does drop the water skin. He just dropped the fragment of power, which is fine. Uh, so we're going to go back up this way and continue on our path here. So we're going to go follow the light, continue following the light, and we're going to lead over to this way. We got some more skeletons. We'll just tear through those. Trying to watch this uh, guy here because I don't want to have to keep removing corruption. Thrall, you got it? You got it? There you go. As you can see, the Thrall just rips through those guys there. But you can see where this dungeon would be a lot of fun um, if, if I'm not ruining it for you. That's why I recommend going through and playing it before you watch the guide because I, I show you the pathing through it. And it just kind of takes away from the fun because otherwise you're in here you're not sure where to go you can see all these other little side paths and it's really easy to get lost and and yeah it's just a lot of fun like i said i i I love this dungeon. I think it's one of the best that they've added to the game so far. So then we're going to continue on our path this way. This leads to our other giant skeleton boss. Now there is another one. I'm going to show you where he's at and we'll, after I show you the full path, we'll, we'll go do him. He's over that way. So I'll show you how to get to him after we get to the main boss. And then we'll, we'll do a little bit of backtracking here. So we're going to go up. We're going to just hit this guy real quick. This guy's got a spear. So be careful. He hits hard as well. And yeah, there, see how hard he hits? He freaking wrecks your face. You do not want to get hit by this guy. Um, Thrall, you got this? I can take on these little guys, but that uh, that spear guy, I could take him on too, but he just hits so freaking hard. Okay, Thrall finally decided to get in on the fight over there. And uh, now we're just going to kill this skeleton. And there we go. All right, and Thrall's got that fight over there. He made pretty short work of him, as usual. We're going to grab the Kahari Steel off of him. Once again, Fragment of Power. You can get a lot of Fragments of Power out of this dungeon, too. Okay, we're going to continue on after this guy. You're going to just... Okay, so let me show you here, just in case you got disoriented from the fight. So we came through this way. We're just going to come right around here like this. And then follow right through here. And right around here, we got another skeleton here. Just going to... Hit him a couple of times. 
And there we go. And we're going to continue down this bridge. And there's another boss up here that you may miss if you're not like specifically looking for him because he's kind of off to the side. So we're going to run through here and he's right back in here. There you go. So you can see we got aggro from him. And uh, once again, he hits very hard as well. Let's get Thrall. You want to you wanna get in on this? Okay, he's fighting. The, the boss doesn't seem to care about the Thrall. He's just like taking the hits. Okay, we'll kill this little skeleton here and then go... Hey, Speary McSpearface, where did you come from? Okay, and Thrall took care of the other ones. So there we go. And once again, Fragment of Power, Kahari Steel. And then you can come back in here and I've seen some of the, the little tiny chests back in here. Doesn't look like we have any this time. So yeah. And that's another thing, like you, another reason you're going to want to explore is because of those those little chests and the additional kahari steel hey can you like get out of my way throw nope he he's just gonna he's like i'm standing here this is my doorway all right so we're gonna continue on up this way so we just came straight through there we're gonna continue straight up this way and it's actually once you see the pathing through here and i'll fly above it at the end of this and show you it's pretty quick to get through here so, and then back in that cave right there is the spider boss. I'm not going to fight it. Uh, it's the same spider boss that's on, you know, two other places on the map. If you want to go in there and fight it, uh, you know, it's the demon spider. You can go in there and fight it. So then we're going to go this way. So we came through there. We're going to come up this way and come through here. And there is the, uh, that leads into the final boss. We're going to skip that real quick. I'm actually going to fly and we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you. So I want to show you the, the pathing here so you can kind of just get a bird's eye view of where we came through. So everywhere you see those little lights there, that's our, that's our path. So you can see we came around this way, came through there, came around there, straight through there. But if you want to fight that boss over there, Instead of going that way, you're gonna you're gonna come through come through here, and then you're just gonna turn left, and then we're gonna run through here and down this way, and then this bridge right here leads to this boss. Then we just run down here. He's another hammer boss, so I'm gonna cloak. I'm not actually gonna fight him. I'll kill him to show you what he drops, but he's just a side boss that you can fight if you want to. So he dropped uh, Stygian Spear, more Kahari Steel. And there, I do recommend fighting him because, you know, Kahari Steel, once again, you're gonna need a bunch of it. Okay, so we're gonna go back up to the final boss location. All right, so as we run down here, you're gonna run into some skeletons. They should, why did they not pop up? Did they already pop up? I saw them popping up when I originally showed you all this. Am I? I'm not cloaked. Yeah, I don't know why they're not popping out of the ground. There should have been some skeletons right here. And then I love the fog. It's so foggy and hard to see. And it's awesome. You know, just things pop up out of the ground. You're like, where did that come from? We're going to kill that guy. Yeah, why am I not being attacked? Need active cloak. Deactive. That's really weird. Something, something slightly wonky. Okay, he's attacking that guy. Let's see if we can get this other one to attack me. Because if you're in cloak, by the way, the final boss won't spawn. It will do the thing and then he won't actually show up. Yeah, I don't know where the other one ran off to. But uh, yeah, so anyway, this is where the final boss is. And I've done a guide on this boss already. It's a really great fight. So we're going to run in here. We're going to make sure our thrall is with us. Hey buddy, come on in here. Come on. Okay. So, and then what we're going to do is we're going to light all of these fires. Go through and light them all. And then you're going to step back to the corner. Oh, it didn't do like the, the particle effects and stuff. And he's not attacking. Yeah, something really wonky is going on. I'm not sure... Okay, there he goes. There he goes. Now he's attacking. He should have come straight for me and there should have been like a beam of light. Uh, watch my other guide on it. You'll see what I'm talking about. So basically, you want to get the Thrall attacking him. Once they get into a fight, you're good. Uh, there will be ads that will spawn. So we're going to throw down a couple of arrows there just to, to top him off. So you can get in on this fight. You can actually block his attacks 
or you could on the previous guide we'll see yeah so there you go you can block his attacks you can kind of help your throw out a little bit you can get in here and cleave the back of his leg be careful when he swings around like that uh, you can also just spear but you honestly don't have to do any of that because the thrall will do all of the work and you can just set back and heal the thrall and wait patiently for the ads to spawn now when this happens stay out of the blue and you can see what I mean about how that's well there that's what happens if you get in the blue but you can see what I mean about how this is like a cool cool raid fight I love the mechanics for it I love that it makes you pay attention to multiple things it's an absolutely fantastic battle and it would be a really great like with a bunch of people just come in here and fight this guy and you got your friends and yeah absolutely phenomenal fight so we're just but with a thrall this is it i mean it's the same thing as where the rest of the game is once you get a thrall it's you know relic hunter treasure seeker i choose you okay so here he goes he's gonna okay that's what what he should have done the last time here we're gonna spawn some ads so i'm gonna run up on this guy now you have to be careful while the ads are going uh because of the the blue crap on the ground whatever you want to call that warning area whatever it is so we got a horde of these guys right now and i got too far away from the relic hunter so he teleported and it broke his aggro so we're gonna try to get him fighting this guy again relic hunter i really need you to do something numb nuts anything at all yeah kill the ads anything all right so we'll fight some of these guys they're not bad as you see they don't have a ton of health it's the numbers that are going to get you more than the actual skeletons themselves and for some reason i don't know why he's acting weird he should be like right on my butt hugging me he should be all about it but for some reason he doesn't seem to care i don't know if they changed the ai since it was on test live and we got a couple more ads here and hey can i attack can you let me attack there we go you can just chop away at his leg just be careful when he does those sweeping attacks and he's just yeah that right there that's what you i love how i like be careful for the sweeping attacks and then i walk directly head first into one yeah but once again you can see he doesn't hit nearly as hard as the um the other little mini skeleton bosses like that dude with the hammer and the dude with the spear they hit so hard this guy he's he's moderate he's what you would expect from from a boss and he's almost dead we're just gonna keep swinging there we go and he's down so he drops a couple of different things he drops the seal he drops the recipes for the armor and uh he drops the uh weapons as well so this is what he has a chance to drop he's going to drop the scroll for the kari weaponry the raider armor the soldier armor the mace of thag and the scythe of thag and if you want to see more details on those i have uh videos that give more details on those but that's that's it for the dungeon and then you run through here and this will uh, put you back out into town And then you exit right over here, right across from where we entered at. We entered right over here. And that is uh, pretty much it for this video. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Elite Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.